Our scripture reading today is taken from 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. I was thinking about things that are new, a newborn baby, a new car, a new house, a new washing machine, a new job, a new school. All these things help make a difference in our lives. In the Bible, it talks about things that are new. In John 3, we read about the new birth, being born again of the Spirit of God, born into the family of God. When a person's sins are forgiven in Christ and the Holy Spirit comes into the heart and life, they are brand new. We read that old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. A new outlook in life. You see things differently. Your eyes are open spiritually. These eyes that were once blinded by the God of this world are now opened. Old desires and habits of the world, the lust of the flesh, the eyes, all these things are now passed away. It's hard to explain until you see it yourself. All things become new. It doesn't mean that you don't get tempted and tested, but the Holy Spirit that lives within you, it conviction helps you to keep on the narrow way for heaven and home. Also, another thing the Lord has given us is a new song. Psalm 40 tells us that he hath put a new song in my heart, even praise unto my God. We used to sing the song of the world. Now we sing the song of the redeemed. The Spirit of God that now indwells every believer is bursting to sing. And the Lord who of the Lord who saved them by his grace. This, these times of COVID-19, the devil would try and shut us up from singing and praising the Lord, our Lord and Saviour. Even the very stones would cry out if we didn't sing. We have the new birth. We have the new song. And also we have a new covenant, a new relationship between God and us through Christ Jesus. The promise of redemption by God to his people as individuals on the basis of God's grace through Christ. A new covenant, a superior covenant to the old covenant. And we have the binding promises of God in this new covenant. People could break their covenant, break their promises, but the Lord will never break his covenant. It's a blood covenant. What about you today as we close? Have you the new birth? Have you the new song? Have you entered into this new covenant through Christ? You can today. Repent. We need to repent of our sins. Believe. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and be born again. The minute you put your faith and trust in Christ, God will forgive your sins. The Holy Spirit will come in and you'll be born again of the Spirit of God. May the Lord bless and keep you all safe for his name's sake. Amen.